Okay, so we'll go back to another video. Today is a definite integral that has a symmetric bound of negative one to one. Well, the graph itself of the integrand isn't symmetric, but the bounds are, just put it that way. But our integrand we have is x times the natural log of 1 plus 2 to the power x plus 3 to the power x plus 6 to the power x dx. Something probably, um, you know, for first-time viewers, it's like a complicated glance. But this is actually such an interesting integral with the way its techniques and creative ways you can actually, you know, well, what we're going to do is, you know, using those such methods. One of them being the fact that we can actually decompose um, the inside of our natural log um, input. So using that, and then the idea is that there's a step that involves a use substitution, but even though it's just one step, the rest of that comes from the part that we're actually using, you know, what we learned from algebra specifically using, you know, decomposing, you know, binomials slash using the foil slash unfoil method. And then we actually come down to a nice little step where we, it's kind of like reverting back into like the beginning that, you know, what we started with. So in other words, we actually call something of an integral, you know, we let that be, you know, capital I, which we'll, we'll be using for that notation. Then progressing forward, we were actually, we will actually get back into that step going full circle. But the result itself is actually very nice. So um, why don't we actually just jump right in? So let's first notice that capital I is going to equal to, so our integral negative one to one of x, then times the natural log of. So we're still going to be left with one plus two to the power x plus three to the power x. However, six to the power x, we know that if we can actually decompose this from the multiplication products, we know that's the same thing using the exponent rules as well. It's the same thing written as two to the power x multiplied by three to the power x, then followed dx. So what's nice is that if you pay attention closely to the inputs of our natural log, we see that we can actually unfoil this out. We have x to the power or x times ln. And then what we have is that we're actually decomposing such as we have the you know binomial factors of the following of one plus two to the power x multiplied by one plus three to the power x and then followed by dx. Okay, so that's what we're left with so far. So let's actually now um, perform a nice little use substitution. So the variable in question we'll be using is that we're actually going to let u equals negative x. So let u equals negative x. So that would mean that du is going to equal negative dx. Okay, so now putting this back into the substitution and all together. So now don't forget, we also have to change our bounds too. So equals, this is still capital I. So we change our bounds. So that means our top bound for this is that we let um, X equals one. So the top bound is going to be, this is going to be negative one. And then this is going to be a positive one on the bottom. So of course we know that we're going to have to change our bounds in order to, you know, make sure that the bounds are correct. So that makes it a negative, but let's actually um, put in the rest of this. So x, so now we solve for x by itself to substitute, so that's gonna be negative u, then multiply with the natural log of, so now just fill in gaps over here, so I have one, then plus two to the power negative u, multiply by one plus three to the power negative u, close that off, and then we substitute our, you know, our dx differential, so this is gonna be negative du. So in other words, we can actually simplify this out even more such that I switch the bounds, that's a negative, there's a negative over there that cancels, so I have a negative one and then a positive one over here, but that still leaves us with negative u, and then multiply by the natural log. So what I'll do is I'm actually gonna write this in terms of like a rational function. So two to the negative u is the same thing as one divided by two to the u, and then same thing for over here, three to the negative u is one divided by three to the, um, power u. So let's see natural log and then now I have 1 plus 1 divided by 2 to the power u multiplied by 1 plus 1 divided by 3 to the power u and then close that off and then we have um, du over here. All right, so continuing forward, then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get this into like one common fraction by itself. So the first thing I'll do is, let's see, I'll multiply a two u to this entire thing such that this just actually just gets rid of the, well, that means um, the entire thing is becoming a fraction by itself. So two u get a common denominator. So I have a one plus two u on the top and then that's a two u and then same thing over here, it's a three u. Then I'll combine everything together. So that means now we have, so negative one and then positive one of negative u, then multiply by ln. So now all this together, so that means I have one plus two to the power u, and then multiply by one plus three to the power u. And then under that denominator, I just multiply everything that we actually, you know, get the common denominator off of these two terms. So I have a two u 
multiply by 3u and then now that's followed by with du and then the next thing I'll do is we'll actually use the properties of the natural log function since this is under the division of our input so that means we have a subtraction of the natural logs so now this leaves us with just so the integral from negative 1 to 1 of now negative u and then multiply by the natural log of so I'm going to keep this as 1 plus 2u and then multiply with 1 plus 3u and then close that off with du and then I'm actually going to subtract so the natural log because of the division there's also a negative over here so I'll factor right out so now that becomes a plus so now minus the integral from negative 1 to positive 1 of u to the power ln of so 2u and then times 3u so let me actually put that back in so 2u and then 3u and put that back as 3u then let's switch to a different marker because you're going to notice that now if i actually combine everything back together so different marker let me try a different marker so now if i just combine everything back together so that means so this is going to equal to so negative one and then positive one so now this is going to be negative u and then multiply by the natural log so put this back together so multiply it out i have one plus two u plus three u and then plus six u then du then back to over here so it's going to be a plus so the natural log negative one u natural log of six u and then du you're going to notice that specifically this entire thing over here is exactly the same thing we started with over here but different variable but instead we call this i so because there's a negative so that means this thing is going to be negative i so now to put the um to reiterate everything so capital i is going to equal to negative i this entire thing over here so let's actually just um make a note of that so this entire thing over here is this thing right here and then add this back with so now that that's out of the question i'm actually just going to go back into the world of x so that's a dummy variable over here so we have the integral from negative one to one of x to the to x multiplied by the natural log of six to the power x and then dx so now what i'll do here is now that let's actually um so using natural law properties again i'll move the x outside so now I'm actually going to denote this arrow just to simplify this part of the integral expression out. This is the same thing written as negative one to one of the natural law properties. This is x squared multiplied by ln of six and then dx. So now to do a little bit of algebra, let's add capital I to both sides. So now I have two times capital Y is going to equal to the negative or the integral of negative one to positive one of x squared and then times ln of 6 and then dx in other words simplify it out ln of 6 that's a constant so i'll move that outside so negative 1 to 1 of x squared dx that of course is a very easy definite integral to calculate so we know that specifically this is actually going to be 1 over 3 times x to the power 3 then we evaluate our bounds from negative 1 to positive 1 so i'll just write this out third and then negative one to one which we know that if you actually plug in the bounds we're going to get that this is positive two over three and so that means two i so far is going to equal to um two divided by three multiplied by ln of six and so therefore capital i which is the integral we want to solve for is indeed just going to equal to by after dividing by two um one divided by three multiplied by ln of six and so with that, that is our final answer to this natural log integral over here, that uh, complicated glance, but it's actually, I really love everything about the tricks that we were using. So it really, you know, gets your brain like, you know, really thinking hard and deep, which um, everything that we do in terms of, you know, foiling, unfoiling. So algebra techniques for the most part, not a whole lot of calculus aside the fact that we actually did some integration, but the most part, um, the most common trick that we're actually doing specifically is the fact that we're actually utilizing the foil slash unfoiling, the binomial, you know, terms to get the following what we want then we actually revert back to where we begin with as i mentioned then it makes the um everything solving easier just like that so yeah that's uh pretty cool if you ask me